Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. And I want to talk about the rumors or the confirm of Jared Leno's um Joker coming back to Justice Justice League reshoots and Joe Magalio's um Deathstroke is also coming. And you know, I'm excited for it. Um but at the same time, I'm a little worried because I really wasn't feeling Jared Leno's Joker. And it doesn't have anything to do with the actor himself. It really has how he was directed in Suicide Squad, which I think the failure of Suicide Squad was because of him being promoted that he should have been the villain. What was the whole point of adding the Joker into Suicide Squad and he's not being a primary target that Amanda Waller would want to take out? You know, it was kind of weird that it kind of switched to Enchantress when it really didn't look like that was going to be the main antagonist, you know. And by the way, that costume that they gave Enchantress, I get that they were trying to go for something dark or whatever, but it felt like swamp slutty thing going on. Like, what what, what the hell was that? <laughs> what the hell was that? You, you mean tell me you couldn't give me something a little bit better than that? You know, she could have stayed sexy or whatever, but my God, what the hell was that? <laughs> it looked like <laughs> Swamp Thing's um, bride to be or something more so than like the Enchantress, but I'm off topic or anyway, but I'm really excited about, you know, the DCEU bringing back Ben Affleck, Batman, and Joe Magalio's Deathstroke, and if I got to take Jared Leno's Joker, I'll take it or whatever, because, you know... I'm not going to blame the actor, you know, the script was, was a little poorly, poorly done and he was doing what he was given to do. So, I mean, I can't really blame him, even though I mean, you know, I could go without the Joker having all them tattoos and stuff like that, but good God, that damn Lamborghini was damn fine, Suicide Squad, but off topic again, but I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with him. And, you know, if I got to take the Jerry Leno's Joker for Ben Affleck to return as the role of Batman, that's fine by me. Because, like I said to this day, uh, he wasn't fairly given a shot at Batman. So if it means, you know, hey, he's going to do an HBO Max series and it's going to have Jerry Leno's Joker and Joe McLeod's um, Deathstroke, I'll take it. I'll take it. Because I really was excited when Ben Affleck and then was talking about his solo, the Batman movie um, that was supposed to be coming out. And then we never got it. And then all of the stuff happened with his life outside of it. WB was rushing things. WB was doing a lot of shady things or whatever. And, you know, it felt like they didn't really give him a shot like he should have because the problem with the WB executives is they wanted to rush everything they wanted to hurry it up and catch up to the mcu which i didn't think they needed to i would have loved for, for us to just have a slowly built dc cinematic universe i would have been fine with that to be honest and besides it's not like dc really needed to rush you, you had good movies live action movies prior to that so it wasn't like oh my god we gotta hurry up and rush to catch up to dc i mean marvel i'm sorry you didn't need to. You could have just did Man of Steel, Man of Steel 2. Then you do the Wonder Woman movie. Then you do the Batman movie. And then, you know, you could do Justice League if you want to or do another superhero solo thing. But, you know, I would have changed the whole thing with the based off of the New 52 crap. Um, No, we were, we're not doing Cyborg and we're not doing that Flash we're doing Flash, but we're not doing what Ezra Miller is. I don't know what the hell that is. He acts more like Bart Allen than anything else. He's definitely no Barry Allen. He might be a little bit of Wally, but definitely no Barry Allen. Like, I don't know what the hell. They can't never cast Barry Allen correctly. It is not that hard. You get a stoic, blonde-headed white guy and just play Barry Allen. It's not. It's really not that hard. They always got to get some quirky, quirky guy playing Barry Allen, and it's just like that's fine and all. But DC, you do realize that every Flash that's been live action really has been a depiction of Wally West. 
really. It's really been Wally West. And in the DCEU, it's Bart Allen. It's Bart Allen. If anybody's read the comic books of Impulse, when he was on the Young Justice team, when he was part of the Teen Titans, even when he had his old solo run, you know, Ezra Miller acts like him. So, you know, it was kind of weird with that one. But again, off topics. But with the whole Jerry Leno is being back as the Joker, this could give us a little bit more in-depth with him. Um, Maybe they'll bring in Margot Robbie. We can see a little bit more in-depth with that one. That's another thing where I just didn't agree with having a solo Harley Quinn movie because just like, again, we never seen her and Joker together enough to justify a movie. Oh, they broke up. But you guys are assuming that everybody knows about the Joker and Harley Quinn's relationship like that. You're only getting the whole thing. Oh, you know, she fell in love with him. He abused her. Now she has to be free of him. But you never went in depth with any of that kind of stuff. You just kind of jump to the conclusion, think that almost everybody saw the Batman, the animated series thing. And that was it. No, not a lot of people seen that, that kind of stuff. That's why it's very important to represent these characters correctly, especially when it's their first time being live action. This is another problem with race changing characters or whatever and junk like that. We need to see these characters for who they are in the comic books because you're basing them off of the main continuity. You're not basing them off of alternate takes, really. Yeah, there are some depiction from the DCEU that are, that are depicted from that, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to, like, race swap characters for no reason or skip over certain things because, you know, it's just what it is and hopefully people will know. Like with Batman, of course you could have skipped Batman's origin stuff. We already know about Batman stuff. We just got fresh off of Dark Knight. All you had to do was just introduce Ben Affleck versus Deathstroke. Trust me, the public would have ate that shit up. I'm trying to tell you. You know, this is literally the reason why I'm really excited about hearing anything that's related to Ben Affleck's return as Batman. Because, like I said, he has to get a fair shot. You know, and that's great that they doing their thing for Robert Pattinson and stuff like that. And people can watch it. I don't have to watch it or anything or whatever, but you know, it feels like, okay, we're, we're going to compromise with the fans. We're going to give them this Batman from the DCEU since he is the main D DC Batman at, of the time. And then we're going to do our alternate take of Batman. Like we did our alternate take of Joker and stuff like that. And leave that, let that be your, your black label stuff. But when you're talking about your main continuity stuff, the main connective stuff from DC Extended Universe, get Ben Affleck ass back up in there. Let him be Batman, you know, and call it a day. And hopefully we'll be able to expand this whole thing with Jared Leno and Deathstroke and see what they'll bring to the table with the Justice League movie and see what they'll also bring for the solo Batman project, which I would love to see that because that'll be really exciting and stuff like that. But yeah, um, tell me what you guys think about the whole Jerry Leno thing. Tell me if you guys think they should recast him or anything or whatever, um, or change him around or something like that. I'm hoping like at the end of Suicide Squad that the Joker will be like um, his New 52 return version where he cut his face off and now he's like really creepy and he's going after Batman with more of a vengeance and taking down some of his allies or something like that. Oh, Think about the money that could make. Think about how much people would love to see something like that. But yeah, um, you know, leave a like, subscribe and all that good stuff. And I catch you guys later. Peace out.